We are so excited to welcome this morning Casey Roll and Josephine Frieda, and they are both on a major cinematic role. Good morning, beautiful ladies. Good morning. Okay, congratulations <laughs> on both of your films. They premiere tomorrow night. Let's begin with you, Casey. Shout out to the West Coast, to all your family watching this morning. Hello, Vancouver. Hello, Calgary. <laughs> I love you. I miss you. Talk to us about the movie, White Lie. Yeah, White Lie. It's about a, a young university student. She's uh, faking cancer for her own personal and financial gain, and um, her lie gets exposed and she has to scramble to figure out whether she wants to give up the game or keep it going. How do you approach something like that? Because you have to instill some sympathy in this girl, but there's a lot of reasons to not like her as well. 100%. I mean, I love to play characters that people don't like, um, who wouldn't want to have lunch with, is what I like to say. <laughs> um, so I just, um, I had to just dig for some compassion for her. Like, you can have compassion for everybody, even if they're an awful person. I think so, it, in s most cases. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just sat with what her what would make her do things like that and try to love her. And looking at that, I said, that was you shaving your head on camera, wasn't it? And you said, yep. Yes. Why did you decide to forego what they could have done, which is just, you know, put a, a net over your head and yeah. actually shave your hair off for that scene? Well, Calvin and Yuna, who uh, wrote and directed the movie, they they needed it to be real. They didn't want to deal with a bald cap. They thought it would look fake. They thought maybe people would get confused if she was bald capping herself or if she was actually bald. Um, so when I auditioned, that was a caveat. You have to shave your head. Um, and so I, I had wanted to for a really long time, and I was so excited. And you got it in one take, right? <laughs> yeah, single take. <laughs> Can't mess it up. <laughs> Josephine, talk to us about disco. Um, disco is about a girl, a 19-year-old girl, Miriam, and uh, everything is, like, she's a very, like, Instagram generation, like, represents that kind of thing. Uh, everything is perfect, and she's a world champion in disco dance, <laughs> and she's, like, a leader in her church, and, uh, yeah, has this perfect family, and then she collapses on a competition, on a world championship, and then, like, trauma comes back so she, she suddenly starts uh, noticing that maybe things happened in her childhood and then the movie is kind of going from there and it's kind of it's like asking questions about like power imbalance and um, for like people in vulnerable situ life situations and kids and um, yeah like yeah, how do you approach someone who's not feeling well or mm. is maybe starting to have like psychological issues and, and yeah. How, how are you feeling? You're rising stars but you've come at it from two very different ways, haven't you? Yeah. Different continents. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. I'm talking about. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. What yeah, are you looking yeah. forward to now is TIFF is that platform. You're both in these awesome thought-provoking films that are getting rave reviews. What are you most looking forward to going into this exciting weekend? What do you... I'm just excited. Like, I'm just so excited to be here and in mm -hmm. Toronto. And it's just, it's crazy for me <laughs> who come from Norway. And I'm excited to just meet all of you guys, yeah. all, all of us, and also just uh, talk to all the people and all of, I'm just so excited to learn from people who's been in the, like, know things about mm. everything. Yeah. 